we've had like really bad moments too where it's just like no matter what we're getting into it about stuff arguing it's just it's been really really hard and it makes both of us feel like nervous and worried about like the future Sneezy gang, sometimes it can be really tough living with somebody. You know, me and Natalie have been best friends for years and we've never lived with each other. You know what I'm saying? And when you live with somebody, it can definitely change the experience of, you know, a relationship. You know what I'm saying? And it's tough. We are, it's only, it hasn't even been a full month since we lived here and it's just like, oh my God, we gotta really learn a lot about each other because when you live with somebody is totally different so just want to kind of let you guys in on what's been going on you know we kind of been posting here and there um and of course it's because we're trying to get this house together that's why we kind of been like just all right let's focus on this house but you know some of it has to do with just us and our communication you know what i'm saying so ah uh, it could be tough it could be really really tough guys um we decided to get in the jacuzzi and kind of just talk, you know. Oh, yeah. What's up? What up? I was just telling them, you know, why well, we kind of been like taking a little break and talking shit. I wasn't talking shit at all. Just joking. Um, ready to get in the jacuzzi? Yeah. I feel like I need it. I need to take a load off. Take a load off. Yeah. This house has been stressful, but being two women. And this house has been stressful too. Tell me about it. Yeah. Come on, let's go get a jacuzzi and easy game. Let's go. Did I say Janeezy game or I said easy game? I don't think you said easy game. I think I said easy game. Wow, it is so beautiful out here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, easy game. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, damn, Natalie got the cheeks out. Hold on now. Don't show them. Don't show the cheeks. Can't show the cheeks, y'all. We're about to get in. We got the whole vibe going right now, y'all. We got the purple and the flashing lights. It's like a party out here. We got the water fountain going. Can y'all hear that? Not the water fountain. Is that the water fountain? Waterfall. Waterfall. Oh, oh. shit. She, she pulling her damn titty. Knees. Natalie, god damn it. All right, now. See, this is why we going through it now, because she got her titties out to the knees gang. Huh. Got her titties. <laughs> Let me cut the waterfall off so y'all can hear us. Ooh, knees gang. I'm trying to be like Nat. This. Oh. That's wow. Fine. Damn, I'm gonna take off my shirt and wear a bikini. Take it off. Nah, this is getting y'all ain't ready for the goodies. Y'all ain't ready for the goodies. Oh Lord. That's Pause sexy. this video and go get in the bathtub or something. Oh yeah, get in the bathtub. <laughs> or if you got a koozie, go get in your jacuzzi because don't pause it though. Don't, don't pause, pause it. it, don't pause it. Come <laughs> here, these game. Let me hold y'all closer. I got y'all. I got y'all. Great. We haven't even got to get in our swimming pool yet because yeah. it's been so cold. Way too cold, y'all. Way too cold. How you feeling in here? I feel blessed. You feel this blessed? Is crazy. This Jeez. looks like. Oh no. This don't even look like real. <laughs> yeah, you look dope. You look lit. All right. Let's talk to him. Talk loud. <clears throat> so, Neezy Gang. I feel like we need to let y'all in on this because you probably noticed, like, our lack of consistency on YouTube, especially. Like, I mean, I feel like it kind of has gone across all platforms, but I mean, one, it is due to like the stress and stuff of moving and trying to honestly get everything done for you guys. And for us, like to be able to create content easily in our home, like mm -hmm. we don't have the luxury of time on our side. Like most people, when they move into a new house, like you can take months and months and months to get it done if you want, because right. you're not having the world in your house but right. with us having you guys in our house and stuff like that it just gotta look right for y'all okay exactly. and for ourselves and for ourselves of course for ourselves yeah. but so i feel like the stress of that and the new life of living together non-stop has really gotten to us and yeah. it's crazy because it's only been what a month? it's been a month Not and less, a little bit less than a month it's a little scary, guys, because just keeping it real, it's been really tough between us. Like, we have great moments as far as like excitement for the house, and then we've had like really bad moments too, where it's just like, no matter what, like we're getting into it about stuff or whatever the case may be, we can't like come to terms with things, arguing. It's just like, 
it's been really really hard and it makes both of us feel like nervous and worried about like the future of not only our, well of our relationship i right. mean and the Neasy gang because yeah. it's like do you want to say anything <laughs> i mean you pretty much said it it's just like you guys gotta understand and we're just you know letting you guys in and what's been going on why we've been like you know MIA, but it's just like, it's so much different when you live with somebody. And we told everybody, we're like, nah, we've been doing this since 2017, damn near, like as best friends. But And, and then when we got together, it, it felt like, okay, we've been doing this since we were freaking, what, a year in? Like, we've been doing this, it's nothing. But when you're actually living with somebody, it's both of you guys' home. You guys both own it equally. And then you're up under each other. The energy's have, different. It's totally different, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, we have to learn how to appreciate every single moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. Look at our life right now, man. Like, I could never in a million years imagine me having this kind of pool, this kind of scenery, and just talking to y'all on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I feel like we don't live in the moment as much and appreciate every single thing. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the little things anymore. Like, we don't really do as much as we did for each other, you know? And that's going further than just moving in with each other. And I think that comfortability with us two is just kind of getting in between us and it's clashing and it's like the romance is not even like you know hitting as much you feel me so it, I think that's been getting to us and you know it's just been really stressful and then on top of it, we just got a house so imagine feeling all that stress and then you get a house and it's like damn like all this is happening in this new beautiful house we're supposed to be living large we're supposed to be happy 24 yeah, 7 you know like, what I'm saying this is supposed to so be like, exciting yeah so it's just like you know that's the, like the little things we kind of been going through and we're normal people, you know, y'all have seen us literally for years on this platform. Y'all gotten to know us and we gotten to know y'all through the comment section and the support that y'all been giving us, you know what I'm saying? We've so meeting some of you guys yeah, too, so which has been so cool. It's only right to let you guys know that us as real people are like, you know, it's kind of tough sometimes. So like, you know, even if y'all have any suggestions, in the comment I'm section gonna say that. like help us out because we're new to this you know we're still young the way that social media is it's like this usually happens around the time like people are a lot older you know they move into houses they get married and stuff like that but the way this new generation is with social media we can we can accomplish anything and make so much money and then boom our lifestyles are moving so fast and it's just like yo wait you know we gotta kind of slow down and really reevaluate re what's important and stuff to us you know what i'm saying so yeah, yeah, I think that's a that's the thing is like life moving so fast, and even yeah. since we're like in this house, we've been on go every second, yeah. literally every second, and that adds a lot of stress. And then it makes us snappy on each other, yeah. and just like, bro, working all day every day, or on, and then on top of it, knowing that we have you know obligations to work and stuff like that and we're yeah. like dang it's been it's been really really tough so we really could use your you know advice and stuff and like let us know in the comment section what you guys like think would be good for us to do whether you've gone through this or not yeah. i don't think that we move too fast into the situation because nah, we have we we really do know each other like yeah. i do think that there are things that we are having to adjust to yeah. And that is like the different energy of us both owning a space. Because I feel like when I would go to her house, I respected it that it was her space. So I would do things yeah. by her rules. And when she would come to my house, vice versa. And I didn't yeah. think we noticed that until we have a house together. Yeah. And now it feels like every little thing might, is kind of bothering both of us. And it's just like... We gotta adjust. We gotta adjust and find that happy balance and just know like, you know, what yeah. compromise is. and stuff like that so especially with the romance too y'all like y'all know i'm a very romantic person you know what i'm saying and i feel like in this relationship that i haven't even been able to do that and it's just like because my mind is going a million miles per hour to where in the beginning it's that infatuation it's that love and it's just like okay i want to express this so much but then when you mix which I, I and i look at our relationship like this it's such a blessing to be in a relationship with somebody that's your business partner it's like if i could choose anything and i really got it it's like the best thing that's ever happened to me because it's like you can understand me you understand that if i'm filming if i'm filming with girls you ain't gonna be jealous type you know what i'm saying you you understand the grind you understand the hustle mm -hmm. but i also feel like being my business partner that relationship part of it it's like sometimes it could 
not dwindle away. You just working so much, and it's just like, wait, the romance. What, what about the romance? And it's then you not start just working. Work. So, yeah. So you get so invested into the work side, and y'all both grinding, but that romance is what keeps everything alive. And I feel like I kind of like I haven't focused on that, and that's what that's what you know keeps the the relationship going when the romance is there. And when it's not there, it's just like, all right, are we back best friends? Are we just friends? Are we? You know, Even, what, what or we it? just co like I keep saying to her like one thing that I'm feeling is like we're just coexisting, you know, yeah. and just like we're coexisting in the space, and I want to bring that relationship feel back. I want to feel that that excitement, yeah. that love, that romance. We work so fucking hard. We man. work super hard. Doesn't mean that means you're happy in every aspect, because it's like happy is like we're good, you know what I'm saying? And it's like our business goes to show that we've been fucking busting our ass, but. What about the relationship side? Is that happy? Are we happy there? Yeah, we don't want to yeah. lose that in the process. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I just feel like, you know, also I want to say this, that like we're letting you guys in on this, not because, mm -hmm. you know, we feel the obligation to or whatever, yeah. but we are so like big on showing the real, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Being realistic. And exactly. we don't want, we know that there's a lot of people who, you know admire our relationship or right. even like oh I, I need a natalie i need to find me a natalie or i need to find me an easy yeah. or whatever the case may be but just know that real relationships come with real problems and even yeah. us where you see like a lot of the good like there's the struggle too and we want y'all to have realistic expectations for life and really like know us too yeah. and, and we're growing up with y'all like you know what i'm saying like i said they've been we've been on the internet not even just us with our joint channel we've been on the internet for so long you know, and it's just like, y'all are really growing with us. So to let y'all in, like I said before, to the real is just like only that's, I feel like it's only right, you know? So, you know, to help us, we are trying to get assistance. You know what I'm saying? And we were, we had an assistant for both of us, but I think that the problem with that is because we do have a joint channel, we don't do have a business together, that assistant can only kind of help us together when we're together. But when we're se separated, we kind of need our own assistance. You know what I'm saying? To keep us like, on go and we can have a lot less stress yeah. on us so we're looking for assistance right now individually you yeah, know what i'm saying i want my own she wants her own yeah so i think that's gonna help us so much i already got you know somebody i'm talking to uh you know she got somebody she's talking to which is we're super excited so you guys can you know l uh, be let in on that area too yeah but if it ends up you know working out if it ends up working out y'all if it because not everybody, you know, is meant for us. You know what I'm saying? and Or you or me specifically. But uh, I think that's gonna help our relationship a lot more so we can, cause we are our own. It's just us, you feel me? And of course we have our business managers, but they're all the way in New York. So it's like, they can get us all the deals in the world. They can make us a lot of money, but it's like, at the end of the day, we need help. Our day to day yeah. and how, how we function yeah. and how like much we accomplish exactly. and stuff like that. That's all on us. So yeah, I think that's the next step moving forward and you know, providing a little bit of that romance in this relationship I think will help. Um, you know. <laughs> Your shirt is freezing. <laughs> My shirt's cold. I'm gonna enjoy the jacuzzi. My muscles are sore. I've been trying to like get my body back active and I got in a jacuzzi to help, you know, relax these muscles. So you know, well, just pray for us. Give us some suggestions in the comments. Um, if you're not, just understand that we're human. You feel me? We're human. Yeah. And we're gonna, you know, work on getting more consistent again and stuff like yeah. that too. So that it's just a balance of life. Balance of life, y'all. Yeah. Balance of life.